Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do little Daz 3D videos to help you get the most out of your renders and your scenes within Daz 3D. Over the last couple of weeks I've had a number of requests from people asking how you do manual installs of your you know, your DAS files and the DAS stuff that you've got. Uh, now, obviously, most people will download it through, you know, the DAS install manager or the DAS central, uh, and that's fine. But obviously, that puts it somewhere on your drive and on your PC or your, your computer that you're using, which is hidden away somewhere. And if you want to install manually, you've got to know where that directory is on your system so that you can do it so manually. Uh, if we have a look in our content, content library up here, you can see under DAS formats, these are a couple of places that I've got where things are set up. I've got a DAS tutorial section there, which I use for my videos, where I just drop things temporarily in there. So I've got quick, easy access to them during the videos. And I've got over here my main uh, drive, which is where everything's stored that I've actually got. Uh, but what we need to know is where these two directories are stored on our system. And the way we find that out is by coming up to the edit menu up here, giving it a click, coming down to preferences, and then under this, we need to then come across to content and then down to this thing called content directory manager. And we give that a click. And then the content directory manager opens and it's a little bit of a funny little uh, setup that you see here. But as you can see over here, we're looking for DAS Studio formats up in this top left hand corner and there we can see there it is and if we now just expand that we can see the two directories on my system where those two things das tutorial and the my das 3d ssd uh, drives and directories are actually stored on my system yours will be stored somewhere different it'll be similar but it'll be somewhere different on your own system so you need to check in here first so that you get the right place where you can install stuff now, of course, before you actually install something, you need something to install. Uh, here we are here on my product library over at Daz. Uh, I've just bought today, actually, the Soft Classic Air from Lindy. Uh, and so I've got, already got it installed mainly, but what I'll do, I'll install it this time into my tutorial directory and show you how to do it. So you come across to your product library, which is on your uh, account. You come up to my account and then onto product library, find what it is that you want to download. And then you come down here to this uh, manual download zip section just here that I'm highlighting. And you give it a click and what that will do, that will then start to download and it will download it to wherever you've got your downloads set up to go to. Uh, again, most will be different. Most people on the PC, for instance, will be C downloads or something like that. Wherever any file that you download to, that's where it'll go first and foremost. And once everything is then downloaded, you can see here the zip file itself is downloaded into my downloads directory. And over on the left here, I've got the directory open where my DAS tutorial uh, directory is on my F drive in DAS 3D where DAS tutorial is. Now, if you look at this here, this is basically your basic setup that you've got within DAS that DAS sets up when it's storing records. If uh, we quickly just go back to uh, DAS 3D for a moment, you can see this same setup over here that you've got. This is actually the directory structure that we've just been looking at, as you can see here. Uh, the extra ones that you don't see in DAS, by the way, is data and runtime. Runtime is where a lot of your textures get stored and data is where a lot of the morph data gets stored. Uh, but when we come back to the, the file that we've just downloaded, uh, what you need then is you need something to be able to uh, extract the zip file. Now, Windows 10, for instance, I know, I can't speak for other systems, but Windows 10, for instance, has a very basic one in place, which you can use with some files that you download. Uh, but you can find something like WinRAR, or, I mean, I use something called 7-Zip, I think it's called, so that when I give it a right-click and I can come down to 7-Zip here and go to Open Archive, it opens this little window, and what we've got here now is the structure within the zip file itself. And what you need to do is you need to come down to Content and give that a double-click, and then you get these three uh, folders in this case, data, people, and runtime. If you have manual install in an environment, you know, it'll say environment in there probably as opposed to people, or if you download 
a prop that you've got or you know a light setup or something like that it will say whatever is appropriate in here most things will have data and runtime and then in this case we've got people because if we double click on people and then female and hair and then go into Lindy we can see here now the hair that we've downloaded we can see and this is the directory structure that's going to get followed and all that we need to do is we just need to highlight those three folders in the you know where we've opened the zip file and then left click them and drag them over into our tutorial or in my directory where we're installing things and on a blank space we just let go and it will extract the file and then it will just install the files and all the files and all the folders into uh, that directory and so once that's done all we need to do is go back into DAS and now when we take a look over here what we'll need to do is just give a click on DAS and just right click it and then just refresh and now if we come down into people and then Genesis 8 females and then hair and there's our Linde file and there's our hair that we've just downloaded. Uh, so yes the key to this is finding out first of all where everything gets uh, installed to when it gets installed and that's edit, preferences, content content manager and then down onto das formats das studio formats and you'll see there exactly where everything gets downloaded to and that's how you do it that's how you manually install something so if you get something from renderosity or you know other places or like to say you just bring them backups in this is how you do it and this the key to it is just finding out where these things are stored uh, so I hope you found this video helpful for those people certainly who've asked about it lately uh, I hope you, this explains everything if not just drop a question down below if you've got any problems and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can if you have found it helpful give us a thumbs up like this video so that it gets spread out wide to help other people so they don't have to ask me how to do it I can just point them you know they'll just automatically come across the video uh, so yeah thank you for watching and I hope you've got something out of this and I'll see you next time bye bye now